Norbert in Pennsylvania. Norbert, you're on the line with Jimmy and Matt. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, yeah, so my original uh, topic was the mathematical principles of Kabbalah and why that like proves it's true. But yeah, that's just kind of what I want to get into today. I don't understand. You said your original topic was to prove that Kabbalah is true using math, but yes. but what? What was after the but? Because oh, I had uh, like technical difficulties and I had to recall just because my mic wasn't working. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But... I see those notes. So you have mathematical proof of the truth of Kabbalah. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to offer it? And, and yeah, so, so when you say Kabbalah is true, we're talking about starting off. It is it is an Abrahamic, Jewish, mystical belief system, right? Yes. Is there any specific thing you want to specify about your? When you say you accept Kabbalah, you accept what? I I guess I just accept their belief system. Um where we came about, what our creator is, how we can uh, find the connection with our creator. So let's, let's, do, let's do that and then do the mathematical proof. Let's just answer the one thing you just said. You okay. said it, it explains what our creator is. So what is our creator according to Kabbalah? Um, the thing that created us as humans. I understood what the word creator means. We can't say that Kabbalah is the thing that created us. Otherwise, I could say my mother is Kabbalah. So what is, be a little bit more specific as I be a little bit more pedantic here. Uh, what specifically? Give us the mystical qualities. It's a mystical tradition. So give us the mystical qualities of this God. I mean, created the universe. Okay. Um, has effects on our day-to-day -day life. Can, like, make events happen in our day-to-day -day life, basically just controls everything about the reality that we live in. Controls everything uh, about reality? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah. No, it's fine. Uh, so okay. he's controlling what I say right now? That was my... In a way, yeah. Cool. I Well, I'm, I say the Kabbalah <laughs> is absolute nonsense, and if our creator has guided me to say that, does that make that true? Um, well, no, but that's the path that you've chosen. The creator may have guided you towards one way or another. But that's so he doesn't no, control. You, you just God. acknowledge that the creator controls everything. Right. Is yeah, it... the creator is not going to, like, force you to believe something, but... I, can... I, this wasn't about... You, you, said the contra you said the creator controls everything. Yep. Was that... Okay. Norbert, was that Anybody? a poor choice of words? Well, yeah, if the creator it, controls everything, in if the creator controls everything, including what I say, then when I say it, it must be what the creator wanted said, right? Or he am just, I more powerful than the creator? He did just accept when I asked him that it was a poor choice of words on his part. Control was a poor choice of words, correct, Norbert? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's what like word influence. is better? Guide? He guides us? Yeah. Okay. Guide and influence. Matt, do you have a different version of the question with guide in it? Uh, okay, how do you demonstrate that the Creator guides everything? Uh, because when you begin to follow Kabbalah, then you see positive changes in your life. That you no, not that's, seen. no, no, no. So first of all, you don't know what you would or wouldn't have otherwise seen. But second of all, positive changes happen in people's life when they're involved in all kinds of things which don't in any way demonstrate the truth of the religion that they're following. You, you know, you could join a religion, see positive changes, and that doesn't prove that the religion's true. Right. It, this, this is the defense for Mormonism. In fact, it's one of the key things that you are taught when you are taught how to teach people Mormonism. Tell them about the changes that they're going to have. Tell them about the changes in your life that it's made. And not only that, uh, Norbert, maybe this is your first time watching, I don't think you'd even have to watch an entire month of shows. I imagine within the last couple of weeks, and I wasn't even here to see them, uh, there's going to be some caller who said, I know God's true, God exists because my life changed so much when I started believing. 
We've had a lot of fallacies today, and the one that you're appealing to right now is called confirmation bias. Uh, it's not a fallacious ar it's not a fallacy in arguments. Uh, well, it can't be. But anyway, confirmation bias is essentially you, you, you see affirmation of what you're looking for, and you dismiss the things that are non-affirming. And confirmation bias is universal to religion. It's, it's super important, especially for people who these Holy Ghost types of religion, God's interacting with you in the way you were talking about, that God uh, God is guiding you kind of stuff. It's As soon as you decide that's happening, you start to see his hand in all things, except for the things that would undermine it. So anyway, you say you have mathematical proof. You can demonstrate uh -huh. mathematically the principles of, Kala, uh, of Kabbalah as true. Yeah. If, if I could just touch back on the previous point, um, the positive experiences aren't like generic positive experiences. They're more like you um, begin to get a more fundamental understanding of the universe, and you, you, you don't see things you haven't seen before. <laughs> That's still how do you demonstrate? How do you demonstrate that you have a more fundamental uh, understanding of the universe? Um, well, it's like something that you can't explain. It's, it's more like. No, it's something, it's something you can't explain. There's, you can't explain it because no, it's just something nothing you, you, if you, if you, if you have a better understanding of the universe, you don't get to say you can't explain it. Because if the point okay. of you saying is, hey, I know Kabbalah is true because I have a better understanding of the universe, then you better get to explain it, Lucy, because you don't get to just say, well, I, you might as well be saying, I just believe it. Exactly. That, okay. Which is exactly what it is. In fact, hang on, Norbert. Let's just yeah. do this simple exercise. Before you accepted Kabbalah, you had some understanding of the universe. Now that you've accepted it, you've indicated that you now have a greater understanding of the universe. What is one thing that you did not understand about the universe that you now do understand, which you can also demonstrate is true and not just a belief you've accepted in your heart? Okay, I'll give you an example right now. Go ahead. Um, before, I looked at a cube and I saw a cube, right? Now, when I look at a cube, I see the mass underlying the cube. I see the the area of the cube, the volume of the cube, like, and just like the formulas that you would need to actually prove that. So, you I learned some math. Geometry. But I, yeah, I was literally going to say, you learned some math. You learned that math because you accepted Kabbalah and it suddenly you intuited it, or you then read about. How to get, first of all, you only get the area of the faces of a cube. You don't get, there's no such thing as an area of a cube. There's volume of a cube, but there's not area. Uh, so you learned how to do math principles just by accepting Kabbalah, not by then learning how to measure, for example, the volume of a cube, correct? Uh, you know, I already knew these things before, but I'm after I've um, researched Kabbalah, I've been able to see these things without like thinking about it, without okay. having you know, problem and problems to me. Bro, wait until you try LSD. It's going to blow your fucking mind. Uh, what's your mathematical proof of Kabbalah? Okay, yeah. So um, this is actually a uh, research paper online. It's called On the Mathematical Principles of Kabbalah. Okay, so, I don't care. so to be clear, you don't have a proof of Kabbalah. You have a research paper of somebody else claiming to have a proof of Kabbalah. Yeah. And you've but accepted I, I, its conclusion without actually being able to demonstrate its conclusion is correct. Yes? And yes, but it's been peer reviewed. So other people have demonstrated that it's correct. Oop. Other people demonstrating it is correct isn't the same as uh, peer review. Cause there's, what's the name of this? What's the name of the paper? On the mathematical what? On the mathematical principles of Kabbalah by John Smith. By John Smith. Yep. Are you guys like looking that up? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's hard to explain because I don't actually fundamentally grasp a lot of the. I thought you gained is, a fundamentally better understanding of reality. You called. I mean, why, why wouldn't you ask the Creator to help you understand this? Well, we in Kabbalah we have a matter of understanding. I'm not very sure if that matters. I have my foot on the first rung, maybe a little further than that. How do you know? There are 400 uh, rungs of this ladder. How do you know? How do you know that you have your foot on the fir first rung? 
this is so because sad. I begin to see these mathematical properties exist. In you, you don't, you didn't even, you, you can't even get it right. Whether there's an area or volume of a cube, what, what <laughs> new understanding, what, what new, what new understanding do you have that you didn't have before? I mean, I, I understand that mathematical properties apply to physical objects. A. That... They're not just conceptual things that they actually. Well, congratulations. Exist. I've understood that mathematical principles apply to objects for the, almost the entirety of my life. And I didn't have to fucking study any Kabbalah. With zero religious appeal. The understanding math is something we recognize. We go out and we identify it. So for you to sit here and go, I realize that cubes really are made up of 90 degree angles. I realize that the volume really is length times width times height. I real. What did you think before Kabbalah? Scientists were like, we don't have any reason to believe this, but here's a bunch of formulas we thought we'd throw your way to make seventh grade unpleasant. I don't see any place where this is peer reviewed. The, the fact that, like, these mathematical principles are applying in real life and they can be used to predict things as well. Name um, one journal. Name point. name one journal that peer reviewed I've on the mathematical the movie principles. Pie, so if you're just I've seen the movie Pi, so if you're just fucking with me, I'm gonna know. What does it predict? Pi? Wait. You've never seen the movie Pi? No. You need to go watch it right now. It's about someone losing their mind while studying Kabbalah. Really? Yes. Yeah, I, I, that sounds interesting. Hey, um, Norbert, yes. name one name one journal, scientific, one scientific journal which peer reviewed on the mathematical principles of Kabbalah. I'm not sure. Well, why did you claim yeah. it was peer reviewed if you didn't actually know that that was true? I'm sitting here because looking at it. A research paper okay. the list it needs to be peer reviewed. Nope. For a research paper to be published, it needs to be peer reviewed on the you know what internet. It needs, it needs a website. Is this your first day on the internet, Norbert? What the fuck? Oh, I don't know whether I this is a serious it. call anymore. Like, I, I genuinely think you oh might God. be serious, but you're just self involved, self filating. You smoke some weed and you're like, bro, the met, but the angles, they're there. It's, it, it almost sounds like a, a shittier, a, a poor man's version of the fine tuning argument. Uh, now I really understand fundamentally that one plus one equals two, but it doesn't just equal two, it equals two. That's what this reeks of, man. And I, I, I don't know how to take you seriously because you're either a troll calling about a research paper that I don't actually think you could tell us much about because you've already preempted that you're only on the first rung. You claimed it was peer reviewed. You said cubes have areas. You're just saying words that sound I associated. I don't know whether you're serious or just masturbatory. If, I have questions. I, I meant the area of the faces. Obviously, I don't how, know. How many, rungs, how many rungs are on the ladder? How many rungs are on the ladder? Like around 432. <laughs> Four, 400, around 432? This is all about math, and you're going to approximate the number of rungs? And he might be above the first rung, is what he said. Call us when you get to 200. No, I'm definitely above the first rung. I don't know how far oh, okay. exactly I am, because obviously there's no way to quantify it. But every time at, you at what point? At what point, at what point, Norbert, at what point on the ladder would you be able to explain this to us? You would probably have to be pretty high up there, because these are the foundational mathematical principles of no so, so i'm saying at what point at what rung of the ladder would you be capable of actually answering our questions what question have you asked i feel like i've answered all your questions what is your what is your new improved understanding of reality at what point on the ladder can you answer that oh okay i got you um I don't know. I don't think I would ever be able to because it's a personal experience. <laughs> That's really to... fucking convenient. It's a personal guess, experience. Guess how? Guess I'm going to use your same answer to answer okay. the question: When will you be able to talk to Norbert again? I don't think I'm ever going to be able to talk to Norbert again. <laughs> Norbert, this is nuts, man. This is this I'm is. I'm not trying to be rude, and you guys. I am. I am trying to be rude. I am trying to be rude and tell you that. 
just try regular masturbation because your mental masturbation is impeding your ability to not be a ridiculous person and have it, a delightful is, day. Go ahead. It's, yeah, it's no, no, it's fine. It's, you look, Norbert, document or no? Fuck no, Norbert. I don't have time to go through a paper that's not even fucking peer reviewed that you don't seem to know anything about. While you blather on <laughs> about how you've gained a new enlightenment about reality, but you can't actually tell us what it is or provide any evidence for it, and you can't really know. You got to get, you got to be in it to know it. And you're only on like the first couple of rungs, but there's like four hundred and some on four hundred thirty-two, maybe something like that. Have someone who's way fucking higher up on the ladder call and explain it because you're not good at explaining it. Norbert, how uh, how many how many rebuttals or sources challenging on the mathematical principles of Kabbalah have you consumed? None. Yeah. None so you funny. are a fucking intellectual fraud to suggest anybody. The fact that you don't even know what the challenges are to this thing that again you claim was peer reviewed and isn't. Because you thought it okay. had to be, no, there's no, okay, we're not moving on, you're done. Uh, uh, go, I don't know, just go. I, I don't have any particular advice, goodbye. Fucking Christ. Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Snow, I'm the executive producer of The Line, and at night I sneak into Matt Dillahunty's house and I trade his cereals for other cereals. He comes out and he's like, wait, I these are cereals I buy, but I swear I had different cereals. Anyway, would you like to support this channel or any specific show? You can do so over on Patreon or in channel memberships. There are special tiers for special shows or for the channel at large, and it helps us expand programming as well as hopefully very soon launch it in podcast form. Now, also, if you'd like to support, you can like, you can subscribe, you can leave a comment or a super thanks, which is a special highlighted comment that you pay for. Those are fun. And, you know... Screw the algorithm, go check out something over here, I suppose. Boy, I hope I can still put those icons there, because if I can't, this is going to look really stupid. I'm going to go buy some Cocoa Puffs and switch out Matt's mini-wheats now.